Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for joining me once again on this reverse recruitment 0% Quilts LTC. If you've been following this series for a while, you may recognize the name of our newest guest. Hi, I'm Panda Bunny, and I've been playing Radiant Dawn for about eight years. Yeah, welcome aboard. Panda reached out about uh, commentating after my comments in the 1-9 clear, and I said, hey, why not? So, we are here with 3-9, which is a kill boss map. Uh, the boss Rourke is located in the top right corner, which is of course the opposite corner of the map from where we start. And we're going to need to take two different pathways to reach him. So one pathway is up north, which is where most of our footmen or flying units are going. It has to go up ledges. Uh, and the long ray, the long ray, ray, something like that, is where our paladins and supporting cast are going to go. So this includes Oscar, who is of course our best combat unit right now. Uh, as well as Titania, Boyd, and Oscar. Titania, Boyd, and Rolf. Gosh, <laughs> names. I can do them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can try. So Titania here can feasibly kill this halberdier, but it's not necessary. And so to demonstrate that, she's just not going to do that. We are also supported by the... Uh, Knock off Billy's brigade. That's, I think that's Billy's cousin, you know, distant relation. Ah, very distant. Yeah. Different countries of origin. Potentially. So Oscar, with his 23 speed, can just barely double the enemy halberdiers, and with his Steel Great Lance, can just barely one round them. Uh, which is a pretty nice benchmark to hit. Probably wouldn't work that way on hard mode. Uh, but he can't always do this because of the thicket terrain. So if we fight any halberdiers on that terrain, he would have to use the Brave Lance. And do you need the rest of the uses of the Brave Lance later, or...? It's, it's interesting. So the Brave Lance is most useful here because it lets Oscar do things he otherwise couldn't. Um, whereas if we transferred it somewhere else, or used it somewhere else, um, it's not always as necessary, right? Because we have other tools and other armies. Um, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, we don't need to conserve it too much. So, uh, right there you had, uh, you dropped Boyd, uh, with a hand axe to the left instead of, uh, up north with his hammer. Why is that? Yeah, so, this is kind of one of the intricacies of this map, where we do want to get through that axe general that is blocking Oscar's way, but if we defeat him on enemy phase with the hammer, then what happens is other halberdiers in the area want to target Boyd and they stack up around him. And that actually makes getting through during the next player phase more difficult than if we leave the general there, attract aggro in a different way, uh, and then push through afterward. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so the, the houses, the aliens are extinguishing them for you. Would, uh, would the houses do anything annoying? Not really, they're, they're just kind of there. At the pace we go, like, none of them have time to fully burn down. And that's the only thing that, like, detracts bonus experience. Uh, as we see Oscar use his Brave Lance right there. Uh, we are on normal mode, we're not really strapped for bonus EXP, but we don't really take any penalties from the houses because none of them fully burn down. All right, 59% displayed hit is not great. Uh, Boyd does actually have Adept on him, which is like, he has a 9% proc rate on that because his biorhythm is at worst. It's something, but it's still not great. Like, it's definitely the most uh, dubious, as people would say, part of this clear. Mm -hmm. But every, bit, every little bit of movement does count, or not movement, thing. Reliability, yeah, that one. Reliability, yeah. <laughs> Some people have uh, said reliability is a liability, which is kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That is funny. Yeah, in games where you have like stronger ability to just control the RN sequences and rig things, uh, you can get away with that kind of thinking a lot more. How dare I Titania not kill people? I know, yeah, Titania and Rolf just can't combine to kill a tier one soldier. So uh, this army does claim its second speed wing of the run, uh, which is kind of funny. It's like these guys' entire purposes are to. Uh, like just collect speed wings for other armies. <laughs> Gotta go fast. 
Gotta go fast. So the yellow, unit, the yellow units are playing pretty nice here and like shielding off Rolf um, from a lot of damage. Not that the soldiers would really want to bother with him. They're more interested in attacking the houses if they can. But it's nice. Yeah, I actually find it kind of surprising they don't burn down that one house right next to him. I mean, they can't reburn the houses. Oh, they can't? No. Huh. I always thought they could. No. Cannot. So, Joffrey needs his HP here because he has to take both hits from these guys. And... Uh, Mist, as she heals up from that sniper attack, was actually pulling aggro away from Oki, who needs his Laguz gauge uh, for this upcoming turn. So we're finally in range to interact with the boss, starting with Soren, getting a pretty big wallop of chip damage with that Blizzard spell. And now we are about to collect our second stat booster. The Spirit Dust. Yep, it's on a hidden tile right behind the boss, which normally you would like use uh, in vanilla Joffrey to- Marcia. Or Marcia, either one. Uh, but you could like attack and then canto into that space to try to get it. Yeah. Uh, we take the blizzard spell off of Sorin because we don't want him to use it in the next map uh, where he will be a green unit and not under our control. So we only get so many of those blizzard tomes and we don't want to spend them willy nilly. Yep. So there's a guy with a jumpable hand axe we decide we do not need whatsoever. And then with that, Oscar moves in to finish off Rourke with his Brave Lance. And that completes 3-9 in four turns. Fast, clear. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for hopping on, Panda. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. It's been great. Of course. Join me next time for a ride into the wide open plains of southern Crimea. Take care, everyone. Oh. Uh...